Good morning everyone, it is Wick here. Even though it might not be morning when you're watching this, it's morning for me. And actually, I don't even know why I started my video like that. I never opened my videos like that. What is up, everybody? It is Wick here. There we go. That sounds more like it. But I'm shipping out some things I sold on eBay yesterday. Then we're heading out looking for some more stuff that we can flip. And I got these New Balance shoes, which I sold for $35 plus shipping. And I paid $5 for them at a Goodwill. Shipping out this Clairol hair setter. I picked this up at a yard sale for $5. I've sold this model two or three times before in the past. I sold it for $34.95 plus shipping for a total of $49.77. Here I sold some more torches. I think I only got two more left. Sold these for $29.99 a piece and paid about $7 a piece for them. Then I got two of these Craftsman Crawfoot wrench sets I picked up at Lowe's, $12. I sold these for $40 each, down to about eight of these left. Here we have a wireless network extender. Picked this up at a yard sale for $1, and I sold it for $18. Next, I got this pop figure. I paid $2 for this at a yard sale, and I sold it for $24.99. Got this wireless network adapter. I picked up 17 of these at a Goodwill for $1.99 a piece, and I've been selling them for $20. Happy another one of these lighted mirrors sold. I sold it for $19.99 plus shipping, and I think I got one left. They're big, they're bulky, and everyone that sells gives me delicious space. Here is an amazing sale, these Crocs. Um, I picked these up at Salvation Army recently for $5.99, and I sold these things for $69.95 plus shipping for a total of $83.21 somebody paid for these. Here I have this Peace Love Design SMS text messenger, just like a toy texter. Uh, there were no comps anywhere online for this. I picked it up at Goodwill for $2.99. I priced it at 30 bucks and it sold. Next, I'm shipping out this cobalt cutter tool. I don't remember what I paid for these, but I think I got well over 30 of them. At Lowe's, probably, I paid under $10 for sure, but I sold this for $40. Then finally, I sold this New Wave Elite. Picked this up at a yard sale for $20. I sold it for $100 plus shipping. So it ends up being a really good fit in this 16 by 16 by 17 box. We got it wrapped very well in bubble wrap. The edges are wrapped in bubble wrap. The units, the pieces, each individually wrapped in bubble wrap, padded around the side so it doesn't shake, it doesn't move. We'll put some stickers on it. Uh, we'll put some arrows saying this side up only. It doesn't mean FedEx is not going to throw it around. But even if they throw it around, I'm pretty sure it will survive. Another tip I can give you is take pictures of your shipping process. Take pictures of how you bubble wrap it. Uh, putting stickers on, that kind of stuff. So if it does get damaged by the carrier, you can file a claim and hopefully uh, get your money back. So we have made it to the first Goodwill of the day. We are inside looking for treasures that we can flip online and make some money. Down there is one of those digital picture frames. I usually don't buy those. They're not worth buying. Unless they're maybe Sony, and they got the box, the remote, and everything. You can kind of make some money on Amazon. People will pay $50, $60 I've sold them for. Uh, but most of them, not so much. Uh, maybe worth checking out if they're unique. However, that one is the basic one I see all the time, it seems. Over here in this random miscellaneous stuff, we got some miscellaneous stuff, like this... Uh, light tech tester fixer thing, $4.99. I usually pick these up. That one's been open. You can see it's upside down in the packaging. They sell great around Christmas time. You get $20, $25 for them. Always make a little bit of extra money by picking them up throughout the year. And over here in the toys, we got some dolls. We got games. Uh, but do we have anything rare? I actually picked up a lot of decent board games today. I think I got one here. On my second pass through, let me see if I can see it up here. Um, I don't notice anything, but I picked up some stuff in these Goodwills. Uh, there's a Sony, what is it, like a boom box. It's kind of unique, $7.99, so I ended up checking that out. It just wasn't worth picking up. Here's a Blu-ray player. Put that in the cart, $4.99 with the remote. That's pretty good. Some of those sell great on Amazon. You can get $50 to $75 for them. 
Uh, this I ended up putting in the cart because I wanted to check it. I saw the cord was unraveled. There was a tape in it. One of the buttons pushed. Someone's probably already tested it. I looked up the comps. It was only selling for like $35, $40 working anyway. Kind of strange. A lot of that Sony vintage stuff that looks cool will sell for more. However, that one wouldn't even eject the tape for me to test. Uh, so, yeah, I just put it back. It was not worth my time. Thought this might be a Hi8 uh, video recorder. Been selling those recently. Some, some of the Sony ones, again, $200, $300. Sony is just a great brand for everything, it seems. Uh, looking through the games, here's a sealed cranium. Been a while since I found one of these. Used to find them all the time. Only $2.99. And for whatever reason today, this Goodwill had amazing prices. So thank you for whoever was pricing stuff. Uh, here's another sealed game. Uh, this wasn't worth picking. It was really dirty. And I'm pretty sure I looked it up before. Uh, in the past, I've, I've come across it. I think it was only selling for like $9 or $10. Uh, there was a Simon I ended up picking up, didn't see it my first pass through, and a couple other sealed games here I believe. There's a Girl Talk though I did not see, even on my second pass through when I wasn't recording. Uh, I sold a Girl Talk before sealed for a couple hundred bucks, a vintage one. That one did look newer, They're, the newer ones are not worth as much, and especially pre-owned. Uh, I got some animal figures in there, they didn't look great. A bag was tore open where somebody was trying to see one I guess. Uh, Goodwill usually won't sell you a bag if there's a hole in it or it's been opened. So just kept moving on. Here's a truck for $3.99. It's in beat up shape, but this would have sold for about $50, $60. I just cannot remember the name. It has NY in it. Uh, maybe someone can leave it in the comments. I've come across them before. I just, in my mind, I always think New York truck, but that's not what it is at all. It just has an NY in it. Uh, there's a couple more trucks just looking to see if they're worth anything. I did almost buy that truck in that condition. I might have been able to make like $10 on it, but it's not worth my time. In the glass case, we got some Star Trek cards. If they are from the 70s, they're worth probably a couple hundred dollars there, but I, I looked at them. They're from the 90s, just not worth as much. Uh, they wanted, I think, $40 for them, so just not worth picking up. We're at another Goodwill now, and... We're looking, and hey, look, I just sold one of these. <laughs> Actually, the first Goodwill we went in had one too, but it's missing the cord and the clips. This one has the cord clips and is clean, so it meets the requirements for me to buy it. However, $6.99 is a little much. I usually don't want to pay more than $5, but you know what? I literally just shipped one, so we will put it in the cart. And, well, I'm pretty sure we'll make some money on that as long as it works. VCR, missing the, the door there. I uh, don't want that. There's one of those lathering heaters, uh, lotion heaters, open, not worth it, not a great model. Some of them I've mentioned before in videos sell so great. Here we are at this Goodwill though, and I came in and I picked up these cigarette machines and the Barbie convertible with the Barbie vintage 1988. Amazing pickup. Just sitting there on the shelf, people walking by it. I was kind of surprised it was sitting there. Um, <laughs> so no one picked it up. That's a, that's a good good piece right there, uh, good condition and everything. There's one of these bedside vintage clocks. Some of those do very well. That one would have sold. You could have sold it for $12, $15 plus shipping. It was $2.99. Could have made some money. I've got too much stuff where I need to test it. And I'm going to be making $20, $30, $40, in some cases $100. So to make you know, maybe $10, $8 profit on something that I have to test and spend time with, not looking to do that right now. So... Trying to walk past that, uh, not pick it up. Eh, I don't mind making eight or ten dollars, you know, if I'm if something quick list, no testing involved. Again, something I say all the time if you watch the videos. Uh, we got a doll there that's been sitting there. I'm not sure. It's just a basic doll, nothing too special. My little pony thing up there. Got this remote. I looked up comps. Uh, no comps. There were some listed. So again, that's something that would probably sit forever and the money is just not great. So not worth picking up, even though that's an easy list. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing much else. I did find a puzzle here. Pretty sure I got the footage for that. Um, there's like a My Little Pony Build-A-Bear. It's been there. It's just not worth picking up. Uh, yeah, there's the puzzle I found. And a Woolrich hat. Um, wool hat. Or not Woolrich, Pendleton. Uh, I don't remember ever finding Pendleton hats before. This one's really dirty. I put it back. I just was showing it 
to you guys. <laughs> Comps weren't great on it anyway. Uh, could have made. I would definitely picked it up if it was in good condition though. Uh, Pendleton stuff like that. The wool hats, wool shirts, especially men's, uh, always sell well. Looking in the figurines, the ceramics, stuff like that. And that was pretty cool looking. But I spot this Mr. Sanders poo thing, $3.99. I was going to buy it, but there's a little chip there. And it's one of those things that may sit for a while. I don't know a lot about it. Comps were looking to be like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. There's a another one, same issue, just got some flaws. I'm not going to buy it and have mine sitting there. Um, you know, people buying others because mine has a flaw. So yeah, we just go on. Found some good stuff today though. I'm going to make some good money. Let me show you. Back home and time to go over the finds for today. I think I hit five thrift stores. And first we'll just go through these board games and puzzles I found. Some sealed stuff at great prices, $1.99, this reminiscing game. I've bought it before at yard sales. Not a great seller by any means. It will sell around Christmas time, and for $1.99, we're going to make profit on Amazon. Apples to Apples for $4.99, another sealed game. Uh, again, this will bring in some money. I think it was selling for about $30 currently. $0.99 cents for this Simon in the Box, and it's the clear version, which is a little bit more rare from what I can tell. I looked it up on eBay and sure enough it was selling for about $30 to $40 in some cases. Something I'll probably price $20 plus shipping and it should move. I checked Amazon, uh, it was on there for $40 some dollars, however the picture was showing the non-clear version. Maybe I can find another listing, but either way selling it on eBay is fine, make some money. I was just thinking the other day how I've not found a sealed cranium game in so long. About five, six, maybe even seven years ago now, it seemed like every yard sale I went to, every Goodwill I went into, there was a sealed cranium game. These sell great around Christmas time. You can get around $60 in some cases. I think right now they're selling in the 40s. Uh, this was, how much was this game? $2.99 is all, kind of crazy. Then I picked up this Chicka Pig game, not going to be a lot of money in it. $2.99 sealed on Amazon. I think you're making 6 or $7. dollars it will give it an FBA shipment along with other games and other products, so it's easy to mess with. Don't want to forget about this Birds of Paradise puzzle back here. I paid $3.99 for it. It's selling on Amazon for, I think, $45 right now. I don't think there was any FBA sellers, so I might price it up a little bit. We'll see. I love finding sealed items, and these items, I'll put the total on the screen of how much I expect to make. Next, I picked up these Topomatic cigarette machines, cigarette making machine. $12.99 a piece. They had two of them, kind of odd. Anytime I see that in a thrift store, I figure it maybe it's a company just donating this stuff if they were returns or they have problems. I'll have to look them over really good. They do look used inside, but they don't look like they're in bad condition or anything. I debated about buying these, but you know what? It looks like I can sell them for about $29.99 plus shipping. So in the end, you know, you're making about $12 a piece probably after fees. I just noticed there's a garage sale sticker for $5, so they didn't come from a company. <laughs> so I guess they came from a garage sale, probably the same one. I, don't, I wonder why the person had two, maybe one broke. We'll figure it out. Picked up the Sam Samsung Blu-ray player with remote for $4.99. Looked this up on Amazon, which is where I usually sell my electronics. Pre-owned, not FBA. Someone had one listed for $140. I think that's probably a little high. I do think I can sell this $65, $75 on Amazon, which is why I bought it. So there'll be some profit in that. Salvation Army, I picked up these LL Bean Tech 2.5 shoes. $7.99 is what I paid for them. They're in very good condition. Looks like maybe a little bit of paint back there. I can get that off. But yeah, it looks like these are selling for about $40, $45. Got a brand new faucet, $9.99. I'll sell this on Amazon for about $110. This weird freeway loud and clear hands free calls item. It has been open, but it looks new inside, $5.99. Look like these were selling between $45 and $65. So yeah, I picked that up. Of course, I just sold one of these this morning, shipped it out. It's one of the hair setters, these vintage ones. I picked it up because it's not going to take much cleaning. I just need to take the rollers out. There's a tray with some hair laying on it, some dust. You, that tray pulls right out and you can just rinse it off. It's got the clips, it's got the power cord, so it has all my requirements. It was $6.99, which usually don't have to pay that much for them. But you know, they sell, so I'll probably price it $35 plus shipping and we'll make some money on the end. Got these to sell on Amazon from Salvation Army, $2.99 carbon monoxide alarms. I believe I was making about $7 profit on these after fees and cost of item. Very good rank, so they'll move quickly. I mean, it'll be a quick 14 bucks. And then finally, a really nice find in Goodwill. 
for $12.99, this vintage 1988 Barbie and her convertible. Paid $12.99 for it, but it's in very good condition. There's like some sticker residue there, but wow. I You don't see stuff like this in this good a condition usually, especially from Goodwill. I doubt that this Barbie is the one that goes with it, but she's in good condition. She's got like a little dog in a bag back there that fell over. You can see that the seat belts and everything are still intact. Very clean. Looked it up on eBay. These sell between $100, $120 with no Barbie doll in this condition. Sell for a bit more with the box. I'm probably just going to price this maybe $110 plus shipping or hundred dollars plus shipping it's kind of big and I don't want it sitting around too long that's it everybody i really want to thank you for watching hit that like button for me on the way out if you would do that i would very much appreciate it let me know in the comments if you found any cool amazing vintage items or just very valuable items for a great deal at yard sales or thrift stores recently you can find me on twitter instagram flipping underscore junk and this has been wick till next time